Hi there, I'm Joe English with EM All Access, and today on the show we talk with Victoria Peterson of Acura about how they're doing low-key activations at local events. Let's listen in. Victoria, welcome. Thank you. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing great. How are good. you? Good. I'm good. Um, so, Acura, you sell cars? We do. Yeah. Car, car industry is known for fairly aggressive marketing, I would say. A lot of people probably think of going to a car dealership kind of like going to the dentist. Like Perhaps. you have to do it, yeah. but you're not looking forward to it. That's sad, isn't it? It is. Because buying a car is like the most exciting thing most of us do. It's the second biggest purchase that you make other than a house. And it's like, it's very personal, right? right. You're like picking up and people love cars. Right. I know I've had this experience. I love cars, but I hate buying cars. Right. So how do you fix that? What are you guys doing to, to try to address that? Well, something that I'm talking about here today at the conference, uh, we have a series of all-white Acura pop-up dinners. And what that is, is a picnic series that takes place in trendy locations across the country. People dress in all-white and they bring their own experience. So whatever food, wine, table decorations, anything that's gonna enhance their experience, they are encouraged to bring. Uh, the location is kept secret until the day of the event when we release it on social media and the event concludes at 10. Um, we have subtle on-site activations, so we were really looking to enhance the overall attendees' experience rather than attack them with lead generation tactics. So when they, when they showed up at the dinners, we had obviously vehicles stationed on either side of the entrances. We still want to showcase the cars, but we didn't want people aggressively asking for information. And then once they were inside, we outfit a Acura TLX with a photo booth. So naturally, with the, with the idea of dressing up at these dinners, people are going to want to take photos. So we, we outfit the vehicle, and uh, they could get in the car with their groups of friends, take a photo, get out, and share it on social media. This had a little bit of light branding and a hashtag on it. And then they could also take a hard copy um, that also included Acura branding. In addition, we had uh, Acura brand ambassadors helping attendees bring their, all of their stuff into their, their tables to really alleviate the stressful experience that this BYO nature is. Um, and, and additionally, we brought in some entertainment to entertain the masses uh, during these events. So you throw in a great dinner. Exactly. But it's got this sort of DIY feel to it. Correct. What, what did people do? I mean, what kinds of... I'm, I'm just thinking what I would bring, but yeah. what did you see there? So it, it's been dubbed the Burning Man of Elegant Dining, and uh, people really go out all out. I've seen people bring bird cages with white birds in them, uh, elaborate tents. It's really a pretty wild experience. Obviously, there's thousands of candles everywhere. That's typically one of the, the main focal points of tablescapes and floral and really anything that looks great Gatsby and Burning Man-esque. The white... That you, this is sort of a theme that you, I hear running through that. It, the car is white too? At each event, we showcased at least three vehicles, depending on the, the permit of the space. Um, but yes, all the cars were white. They had this gorgeous chocolate leather interior. We don't have white interior. But we definitely wanted to fit the theme. Uh, yeah, well, that's, the that's an interesting spin on this, because a lot of times you'll go to charity events, and they'll have cars there. Right. And the car is just sitting there, and you look, at, you walk by the car. So that at least you're, you're pulling some of the design of the theme into all these people that are bringing white things and like right. things like that. So that's kind of that's yeah. kind of an interesting spin on it. We wanted it to look natural in the environment and so you know, we thought what what better way than to give people an experience in the vehicles that they would have already done otherwise. So taking photos, um, we just wanted to really be a part of the, the party. And I would assume that you're generating a lot of uh, social media content that's very authentic because the people see these bird cages and outfits and things like that and they're are, are they spreading it around yeah almost. it's a very Instagramable event right. uh, mm -hmm. these these events lend themselves to thousands and thousands of social posts we saw nearly 40% engagement from all of our attendees at each of the dinners which is a fantastic statistic for us and so we really capitalized on that. We sent influencers on behalf of the brand to go capture moments from the dinners. And then we also hosted media on site. So traditionally, Acura isn't able to capitalize on uh, relationships with luxury and lifestyle media. We typically are talking about auto shows and vehicle launches, and it's really hard to get that style group of media involved. So this was the perfect way to do that. Do you partner with 
other brands, companies doing these? Acura is the sole sponsor, and I think that's um, something that was important for us. Uh, we really wanted to own the overall event, and so we you couldn't miss Acura. We were on the event emails, which have a 99% open rate due to the location reveal uh, emails. Uh, we really wanted to be the only ones there so that we're not shouting into a crowded space. Yeah. So you said that the messaging is quite low-key. So the maybe messaging. wrap us up with, uh, you know, how you how you message and, and not message or not get in people's faces at this type of dinner? I think the most important thing to keep in mind is that you just really want to be a part of the event, but you don't want to take over the event. These attendees want an elegant experience that's not completely spammed with corporate logos everywhere. So just keeping it low key and really looking for subtle pain points in the series to just overall enhance the experience. Um, rather than spam attendees. That's cool. Well, that's great. It sounds like a cool event. Are you going to do one in Portland? Hopefully. <laughs> Hoping so. <laughs> Say it on yeah. camera. And then we'll, Hopefully, we'll, we'll do one it. in Portland. Uh, well, if you do, we'll definitely come. Great. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much. Thank for you very us. much. Yeah, Appreciate it. Yeah.